this video here is to give you a demo of an experiment wherein we are going to find the volume of a rectangular glass slab using an instrument which is called a vernier caliper or also called slide caliper so therefore the aim of aim or the objective of the experiment like written over here is to find the volume of a rectangular glass slab using a vernier caliper now to show you the instrument this instrument here is what is called a vernier caliper now since so you can see here it has two jaws so to say and since it can slide like this okay over the main frame this is the main frame all right so since it can slide over the main frame it is also called a slide caliper now when you look at this instrument what you can see is you have a scale over here you can see 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 written over here of course it is measured in centimeters so the scale on the main frame of the vernier caliper is what is called the main scale okay so you can see one two written over here so that is a part of the main scale of course now if you also look carefully what you will see is you will see a small scale over here also okay so this scale is called the vernier scale of the instrument so this scale over here is the vernier scale of the instrument something called the vernier scale now the moment you get hold of this expert instrument what you need to do is you need to calculate something called its vernier constant or also called the least count of the instrument now what is the least count or the vernier constant of this instrument basically for all other me measuring devices it is called the least count but specifically for the vernier caliper it is called the vernier constant okay now what is the least count or the vernier constant of this instrument it is the smallest value or smallest measurement which the instrument can make okay so for any measuring device the smallest value of uh, the measurement the instrument can make is what is called its least count like if we take uh, a watch or the clock at home what we see is one second is the least value of time which the clock or the watch can measure so therefore one second will be the least count of that watch or the clock okay uh, so okay so i forgot to tell you that this instrument slide caliper or vernier caliper is used to measure very fine or very small lengths okay we will see what is the smallest value of length it can measure now if we are to measure so this is the glass block whose volume that we are going to measure okay now you might say that we can very well use a ruler to measure the length the breadth and the height of this glass slab okay but what happens is a ruler does not give us a very very accurate value accurate to the scale of 0.01 centimeters a ruler can the smallest value a ruler or a, you know a meter scale or the 15 centimeters ruler that we have okay it can measure is one millimeter so one millimeter is the least count of the scale that we have so it's the ruler that we have is basically like the main scale of the vernier caliper so the main scale of the vernier caliper if you ask me what is the least count of the vernier caliper the main scale of the vernier caliper it is 1 mm this value over here is 1 mm all right so we want to measure finer details we want to measure a value lesser than 1 millimeter also so therefore we use this instrument okay so like I said, the very first thing we do when we get hold of this instrument is to measure its vernier constant. Now we have to do a certain calculation to measure the vernier constant. So what we do is if you look at this instrument carefully, when the two jaws of the caliper of the vernier caliper, it's meeting, what we see is we see that the zero of the vernier scale it's not very clear you know uh, the camera can't take, take a very clear picture over here so this is the zero of the vernier scale over here this is the zero of the vernier scale you can see the zero of the vernier scale exactly matches with the zero of the main scale 
and we further see so this is the five, fifth division of the vernier and this is the tenth division of the vernier now we see the tenth division of the vernier exactly matches with the ninth division of the main scale all right so therefore what we write is 10 vd vd means vernier divisions so 10 vernier divisions is equal to 9 msd which is main scale division so therefore one vernier division is 9 upon 10 main scale division now 9 upon 10 main scale division means 9 upon 10 into 1 msd because x means 1x you know very similar to algebra so msd means 1 msd so therefore one vernier division is 9 upon 10 into 1 millimeter because one main scale division like we've already seen the smallest value of the main scale division is 1 millimeter so this value is 1 millimeter all right so the value of one vernier division so this is the vernier division so the value of one vernier division from 0 to the first vernier division it has a length of 0 0.9 mm so to say Therefore, what is vernier constant? Vernier constant of the instrument is 1 main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division, which is equal to 1 mm minus 0 0.9 mm. Therefore, the vernier constant of the instrument or the least count of the instrument is 0 0.1 mm, which is 0 0.01 centimeters. Okay, so this instrument vernier caliper that we have here can measure the smallest value of length which is equal to 0 0.1 millimeter so it can measure up to one tenth of a millimeter all right so this is how we calculate the vernier constant of the instrument remember it's a very very important part of this instrument then after what we need to write is we of course need to write the procedure okay uh, you will see what the kind of procedure or how we proceed okay and then you will have to write it in your own words and then after of course the observation table now observation table if you have a practical book textbook you need not copy everything you know you don't have to copy the table from the book itself you can make your own table so first of all what we do is since we want to measure the length okay of the instrument or we can also start with its height since it will be convenient for me okay so how do i make the table number of observations because we are going to measure the height for at least three times or three different positions so let me start with the height so here i measure the height at one point i will measure the height at another point i'll measure the height at another point okay so at least for three different uh, positions of the height we measure the value of the height because this glass slab may not be uniform so we want to take the average value so we measure the height also the length and the breadth for at least three different positions so number of observations is one two three then we have what we need to do is we need to take the main scale reading now in order to measure the height what we do is i have placed the height of the glass slab or the glass slab itself in between the two jaws of the instrument and we have to how do we take the readings is so we place the glass slab in between the two jaws of course okay so there shouldn't be any gap over here in between the jaws and the glass slab so it's fixed okay then after we take the readings First of all, we need to start with the main scale reading. Main scale reading, now you need to be very, very careful. In order to take the main scale reading, what we do is we look at the zero of the vernier. The zero of the vernier, you can see lies between. So this is, you can see three written over here, that is three centimeters, of course. So this is 2.5 centimeters. Then after the small value is 2.6, then this is 2.7. So if you look at it carefully, if you look at the readings carefully, you see that the zero of the vernier lies in between 2.6 and 2.7. It's very close to 2.7 value, but still, but still it's close, uh, it's very close to the 2.7 value but still it is in between 2.6 and 2.7 all right so what we do is the reading main scale reading we take to be 2.6 centimeters of course 2.6 centimeters all right 
although it's very close to 2.7 you can see let me focus my camera here okay although it's very close to 2.7 value you still take the reading to the front remember so the main scale reading is 2.6 now what we need to do is we need to find the vernier scale reading we need to find the vernier scale reading now in order to find the vernier scale reading here is where you need to be more careful you have to check which vernier division which vernier division is coinciding exactly with the with any of the main scale division over here what is more important here what is more important is which vernier division is coinciding so when i look at carefully look very carefully to the vernier division what i see is i see the ninth division of the vernier is coinciding with this division of the mean scale reading so my vernier scale reading will be 9 and mind you the vernier scale reading does not have a unit i haven't written a unit over here it does not have a unit because it is just a number which vernier division is coinciding it is the ninth division so we simply write 9 it does not have a reading remember now the main scale reading i've called it to be a vernier scale reading is b so c will be b into the vernier constant so b is 9 and the vernier constant we've taken it to be we've calculated it to be 0 0.01 centimeters so 9 into 0 0.01 centimeters it's going to give you 0 0.09 centimeters okay then the total sum will be main scale reading that is a plus c which is this value so a plus c gives us 2.6 plus 0 0.09 centimeters of course okay so this is how you take the readings remember now for another position of the height i am going to calculate the main scale reading i'll going i'm going to measure the main scale reading likewise all right and of course i'm going to take the vernier scale reading now one thing i want to specify over here is the main scale reading basically for different observers does not change okay if we are basically measuring the height of this uh, glass slab the value of the main scale reading should not change okay but at the very same position i also would like to specify that at the very same position for different observers the vernier scale reading this scale reading could be different because our eye you know it's different for different persons okay the power of the eye is different for different persons all right so at the very same position the vernier scale reading could be different for different observers the main scale reading basically is the same but the vernier scale reading differs from one observer to another all right so this is how i take the readings remember so this is for the height i will take the value i'll take the reading for value of the height for diff three different at least three different positions likewise i'll measure the length exactly the process to take the measurement to read the values of the measurement is the same okay you need to take the main scale reading so in order to do that you see the zero of the vernier is lying in between which two values so in this case i can see it is lying between 9.9 .9 and 10 so the mean scale reading will be 9 centimeters for the mean scale for the length remember okay and to take the vernier scale reading you have to see which vernier division is coinciding with any of the mean scale division which mean scale division is it coinciding with that is not important but which vernier division is coinciding exactly that is what is important so that is what exactly will be a vernier scale reading all right then after you will take the value of c which is b into vernier constant that is vernier scale reading into the vernier constant and then you find the sum so for three or more values of the height you will take the average likewise for three or more values of the length you will take the average and also for breadth so you have the average value of length breadth and height and you will find the volume of the glass slab of course as you can see what I did is I took two more readings of the height 
the main scale reading is the same and the vernier readings for different positions of height is different so what we get is the three values of height at three different positions is 2.69 centimeters 2.64 centimeters 2.67 centimeters and the average is 2.667 centimeters likewise what i did is i took the readings for the length also the length is the main scale reading is 9.9 .9 centimeters for three different positions of the length the vernier scale reading is 7 5 8 and thereby we get three values of the length whose average is 9.967 and i also took three readings for the height the main scale reading is 6.5 the vernier scale reading for three different positions of the height is this much 142 and the average we get to be 6.523 centimeters and finally therefore the volume of the glass slab this glass slab therefore is its length into breadth into height so height multiplied by length into breadth which is 173.394 centimeter cube okay so this is how the vernier caliper helps us take very fine readings for the length breadth and height of the glass slab and thereby we can get a much more accurate value for its volume than we could have got using a than we could have got using a ruler okay so this is the experiment